Hi everybody, welcome to Adventure Backcountry and WeaponsAcademy.com. I'm Tim Bulot and what we're doing today is prepping our 1993 YJ for a just an Oklahoma turnaround, a short expedition where we're going to uh, hit some trails, do some camping, and we're going to do some more proving tests of this 1993 YJ uh, just to see how it holds up on certain trails under certain conditions. Uh, in preparation for some longer expeditions coming up. Uh, also, you'll see some footage that's going to be shot with 1993 cameras, and we're going to upscale that and, and make it look real good for you. But um, part of the uh, concept behind that is, is to let's see how this Jeep would look in 1993 out on the trails, but today. So uh, anyway, I hope you enjoy it. Uh, we look forward to uh, uh, taking you along with us on our trip. Please like, subscribe, and share our channel also, so we can uh, uh, we can keep that motivation going along. And I really look forward to your comments on the uh, on the uh, iconic footage of the '93 Jeep. You do let me know, please, if uh, you find that uh, pleasing to watch. If you don't like it, um, that's important to us as well. For me, it's a trip down memory lane. I really enjoy. Uh, video production, especially with the older gear, because that's w w the way I came up in the uh, in the industry back in the day. So anyway, y'all take care, and we'll see you out on the trail, and uh, let's go for an adventure. All right, so it's early Tuesday morning. Heavy overcast day. Typical spring day, we got uh, a high probability of uh, severe storms. So uh, we're going to be driving into that. Of course, that's not till this afternoon. We should uh, we should well be in our campsite by then. But anyway, we're um, running a little behind because of the weather yesterday. So uh, it's 6 a.m. A little after 6, fixing to head out towards the uh, southeast Oklahoma area to run this Jeep YJ through some more trail testing. Let's do this. All right, as you can see by the, the shot there, by the that cutaway shot there, the weather is uh, looking a little, uh, little springtime for sure. We've got heavy overcast conditions, high probability of uh, serious storms. So that's what we're driving in today, and um, this is supposed to go on throughout the week. So um, yeah, it's going to be somewhat of an adventure with the weather all the same. All right, so we've uh, arrived here in Broken Bow. Had a little lunch at the uh, Beaver's Bend restaurant, and we've got rainy conditions. Um, thunderstorms moving this way. They said around midnight we're supposed to really get hit. So. Uh, yeah, it looks like we've got, uh, we're going to have a wet day ahead of us here, so we'll just have to kind of play it by ear on uh, on how we make our plans. But for now, we're going to go get camp set up, and then uh, maybe we'll go hit a couple of trails, and at least that'll keep us inside the vehicle. So anyway, we're off to uh, set up a base camp and uh, see what we can come up with. We'll be back. Alright, so we've got I uh, got a base camp set up. We're gonna wait and deploy the tent, okay, uh, when the storm passes or a little bit later. Actually, it's not supposed to pass till about midnight, but uh, just because it's been raining, just to keep it dry. And Melena's put us up kind of a tarp, just if uh, we need a place to get out of the rain, we can just kind of sit under there and just watch the rain. But anyway, we're gonna go check out our surroundings and. Uh, Kind of get uh, get a feel for how things are. Looks like the lake's up a little bit since uh, last time we were here, so that's a good thing. We'll be back. All right, so we've got a little base camp partially set up. And as this rain starts to move in, we're going to go see if we can find us some trails, see what's out there. 
All right, so we've gotten off into the uh, woods on the trail here. Um, just went through a deep mud hole. I'm watching Milena come through right now. It's kind of wet out here, so it's kind of wet to get out and uh, shoot much video. So we'll have to we'll have to see what we can find up ahead. Anyway, uh, let's go do some exploring. So we brought along the uh, CCD VX3 so we can see about getting some footage from this Jeep to try to capture what it would look like back in that era when it was new. So uh, yeah, we're going to fil film a few shots with the uh, VX3 and uh, we'll upload those to the to a digital timeline and then we'll enhance it see what we can come up with as soon as it stops raining X3 shoots in a, a 4 to 3, 4 3 aspect ratio, so it's more square. I actually like that. I like it for close ups, okay, because it just gives you a different, uh, a different aspect on those close ups, all right? So when you see those black bars on the side, that's that's the 4 3 aspect ratio, okay? Um, you, you know, some people aren't a big fan of it nowadays, and obviously, uh, you know, widescreen. Is, is the way to go but then again we're we're trying to duplicate what this Jeep would have looked like back in uh, back in 1993 on the uh, on the trails so 
we're gonna upscale that video to 4K and then what we'll do is render it out to, uh, to HD 1920 by 1080 to upload on YouTube. So we'll see how that looks. Um, it's kind of an experiment for us, but nevertheless, the objective is is to capture the Jeep projects, you know, just parts of it, not all of it, in the same format that would have been used in the day that uh, the, the Jeep was new. So anyway, we're going to head back to camp and uh, probably do some exercise, get some shots around camp, and figure out what we're going to do for a meal. We'll be back. Alright, so we're back in camp. It's uh, about 6 p.m. It's getting dark. We've got some storms moving in. We're under a tornado watch. Uh, wind's picking up. Uh, starting to drizzle just a little bit off and on. So we're going to just hang out here and see what, uh, see what Mother Nature throws our way. We'll keep you posted. so that's gonna wrap it up for the day they're saying all these big storms are gonna move to the south of us so we'll see if uh, something exciting happens we'll fire the camera back up again if not we'll, uh, we'll be back tomorrow at it again it's supposed to rain most of the day so that's gonna be uh, interesting uh, if we can get uh, get somewhat organized in the morning it may be uh, an off-road day in the weather in the rain